This is your weekly moment of growth. The road to your dreams doesn't always look the way you expected it to look. I remember as a kid sitting in church and watching the pastor speak and me thinking I wanted to be a pastor. You know, my family used to go to church every single Sunday, and I remember seeing the guy up on the stage talking, uh, and I thought that was so inspiring, and I thought that's what I wanted it to be. And as I grew and evolved and changed in my life, I realized that speaking was something that, although it terrified me, it excited me as well. And so I knew I wanted to be a speaker. And as I started to go through life and have the hardships that I did, and you guys are already well aware of a lot of them, I knew that I wanted to help people realize that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Because sometimes when we're in darkness, we don't see the light. And so here I am thinking my, in my life as I'm growing and I'm working through the corporate world, I just want to be a public speaker so I can help people and maybe motivate some people to live a different life. And now I am a public speaker, right? I, I speak all over the country, whether it's on podcasting or overcoming adversity and limiting beliefs. And I realized that the road to get there was not what I thought it was going to be. I originally thought I was going to become a successful entrepreneur first, and I was going to then be asked to speak on these stages because I reached this massive success. But the reality is I found a vehicle that I could shout from the mountaintop and use my voice to spread a message, and that is podcasting. And look, when I had this view of wanting to be a public speaker at a young age, podcasting I didn't know existed. I mean, it, it did exist, but nobody really listened to it. And certainly anybody I knew wasn't doing it because it was a very expensive venture back then. But I was open to the idea as I grew to trying different avenues and trying different things. Now, you guys have heard me in the past talk about my failed businesses. And one of them was a business that put together seminars and expos that focused on personal and professional growth. And really, the idea there was to create this platform for me to speak on, along with bringing in other speakers. And I thought that was going to be the vehicle at one point. And at some point, I thought it was, you know, building a successful app that I tried to build. And that was going to get me to speak at these events like South by Southwest. But it was never any of those things, right? I had to find my purpose. And sometimes that doesn't look the way we expected it to look. And so the point of this moment of growth is to let you guys know that you need to be open to the idea that the road does not always look the way we plan it. But as long as we keep our eye on the destination of what we want, we will get there. Now, if I said to you, there's going to be a really long car trip, and at the end of that car trip is every single dream you ever had, whatever it is you wanted is at the end of this really, really long car trip. Would you care what kind of vehicle got you there? The answer should be no. And so what I want you guys to do is keep your eyes on that massive destination that you have for yourself and understand that we have to be open to the different types of vehicles that will get us there. 